this um, green on green makeup look I noticed that I don't uh, create that many green makeup looks and honestly honestly I do really like the green I added a little bit of dark for the smokiness uh, so this is all the green eyeshadows I could find in my collection and I applied them all on my eyes this is the result I added a little bit of black in there because i don't have any dark green so yeah also we have a little situation on this eye as i was doing my face makeup i noticed that the green liner that i used to create this beautiful green cut crease uh it flakes and um I don't know if the camera picks that. I tried to cover that with a little bit of eyeshadow right here. And also on this eye, it does crumbles. Uh, I mean gathers in the cut crease. You can totally see that. I feel like it's because I added too much uh, glitter primer, whatever this is. So I feel like it's because of that. Because this eye looks totally fine to me. You know? The right eye. No, the left eye is my shady eye. Anyway, anyway, let me zoom you out. Yeah, this is the makeup look I created with all my green eyeshadows. Also, I have to say that I used a bunch of products because I do have like three eyeshadow palettes, but I have like one green eyeshadow in each palette. So yeah, I used a lot of products. Also, uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't like how this looked on top of the shimmers. But yeah, this is the Colourpop and Kathleen Lights, the Bull pigment. It's so beautiful, but I feel like it was not appropriate for this makeup look. I love the Maiden. Oh my god, I added this in the uh, inner corner. And uh, yeah, please don't mind my fake tan. I think I put way too much on my hands and it's not coming off. This time I used the Bondi Sands and oh my god, it's way much better than the Loving Tan. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> uh, so yeah guys, anyway, this intro is super random. I only did my eyes on camera, okay? And the lips and I showed you what highlight I used. And uh, that's it. I hope uh, you guys, uh, you want to see how I create this makeup look. Oh my god, I don't know how to do my intros anymore. I haven't filmed in like one week. Everything you saw, it was pre-filmed. So that's why I feel like I need to talk with you. I've missed sitting here and playing with makeup. Anyway, if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. Alright, so let's start with the base. I used again the P. Louise base. I don't know how I feel about it, but I keep using it because I want to test it more. Next, I'm going with this uh, color. I know it's not really green, but as I said, I don't have that many greens. So I started with this color. I lightly blended that in my crease. This will be my transition shade. And next, I took a clean brush and I blended some more because there's never enough blending. Next, I'm going with this darker green and I kind of created that cut crease in there, but it's very uh, smooth, very blended. Then I removed the excess eyeshadow on my brush and I went back to blend some more because as I said, there's never enough blending. I really wanted to have a nice transition in between those two colors. And I feel like I kind of achieved that. You tell me. Again, I went with a clean brush because as I said, blend 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 because I didn't have any green eyeshadow I went with the black just a little bit as you can see I created that line right in the crease then I went with this uh, small pencil brush and I blended that as much as I could I have to say that it was a little bit hard to blend that black out but I kind of made it work and blend 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 and because we blended that much the black kind of washed out so I went back with a little bit more and then blended some more Then I went back with the same colors that I previously used and I kind of blended them into the black to achieve that beautiful transition. 
and if you hear some noises in the background it's just my cat playing so please excuse that with the same black I'm going to connect the bottom with the top kinda it looks like I did a cut crease but not yet we need to perfect that so again I'm going back with the same colors and I'm trying to achieve the same beautiful transition we achieved in the crease and now I'm going to perfect that cut crease with the same Peelwiz base take your time you don't have to rush and fill that in and on top of that I'm going to go with this beautiful um, liner this dries kind of quick so I had to move fast and it's not looking perfect but we are going to make it look perfect so take your time And again I'm going back with the same Peelwiz base and I'm going to try to make those lines as even as possible. Next I used some shimmers to fill that in. So I started with this beautiful turquoise kinda. I know it's not green but as I said I don't own that many greens. Then I took the same color. I mean it looks the same but it's not the same. It was a little bit darker than the first color and I apply that in the center and at the end of the tail I use this beautiful shimmery green and then I decided to you know go on top with some more green and I feel like it was a mistake because I didn't really like that color so first I applied some glitter glue to make that pigment stick and as I said I didn't really like this color so I added just a little bit because I used that on my other eye as well so they have to look the same kinda but then I took the same shimmers and I kind of blended that out next I'm going to go with this beautiful pigment in my inner corners and on my bottom lashes I started again with the base and then I went with the black I blended that out then again I went it with a darker green and I blended that out and finally I took the lightest greenish bluish color and blend everything out so it looks nice and uh, smooth in there and when I did my other eye I kind of had this idea to connect the bottom line with the top you know so it didn't work and I had to recreate what I did on my other eye but I blended that out so it's not even there anymore to highlight my brow bone I'm using this beautiful highlight I use this only on my body and to highlight my brow bone because it's so glittery to highlight my face though I didn't know what colors to pick so I kind of mixed these three colors right here and oh my god it looks heavenly I will fight you if you say otherwise, it looks heavenly, like, look at that glow, oh my god. Don't forget to highlight the bridge of the nose and the tip and I feel like I'm getting better at contouring my nose, in my opinion it looks a little bit slimmer, I don't know, maybe it's just me. By the way, my lips are super crusty, that's because I don't exfoliate them. Sometimes I like to expose myself like that. So I lined my lips, now I'm going with this ABH lipstick and on top of that I'm going to go with this Revolution Pro lipstick, it's a little bit lighter so that will give my lips a little bit of dimension. And we're done! Alright guys, so this is the final look. I think I need to purchase more green eyeshadows and purples i totally want to do a purple like purple on purple makeup look i d i only have like two purples i definitely need more purples in my life i only have pinks orange yellows browns you know reds so that's like a beautiful excuse to buy more makeup i need purples and greens <laughs> uh, let me know down below what color you want me to use in my next video and if I have that color in my makeup collection I will create a makeup look with that color also I filmed how I did my nails it took me like a whole day uh, I think I'm going to do the intro and the outro for that and I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this watercolor nails or marble effect I don't know exactly 
I really like how they look from far, <laughs> from far. Not up close, but uh, I don't know, I feel like they are pretty cute anyway, up close too. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that. I need the outro and the intro and I will post that video as well. So that's that on that. Let me know down below what you guys want to see from me next. What colors should I use to create a makeup tutorial and if you want me to post the video where I did my nails. Um, check the description bar because I'm going to list all the products I used in today's video even though I didn't show you what uh, foundation, uh, primer, blah 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 I used. I'm going to have them listed down below and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.